Once upon a time, there was a boy named Harry Potter. Harry lived with his cruel aunt, uncle, and cousin, the Dursleys, who treated him terribly. They forced him to sleep in a small cupboard under the stairs and never celebrated his birthday. Harry had no friends and knew nothing about his parents except that they died when he was a baby. But Harry was special, though he didn't know it yet. On his eleventh birthday, a giant man named Hagrid knocked on the door of the Dursleys' house and told Harry that he was a wizard and had been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Harry also learned that his parents had died protecting him from the dark wizard Lord Voldemort. Hagrid took Harry to the magical Diagon Alley where wizards shopped for supplies. Harry got his first wand, school robes and an owl named Hedwig. He also learned his parents had left him a fortune in Gringotts, the Wizarding Bank. When Harry arrived at Hogwarts, he was sorted into Gryffindor House and made new friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. They attended classes and learned about potions, spells and magical creatures. For the first time, Harry felt like he belonged. Soon, Harry, Ron and Hermione heard whispers about the Sorcerer's Stone, a magical object hidden in the school that could grant immortality. They discovered that Voldemort, who had tried to kill Harry as a baby, was trying to steal it to regain his power. The trio faced dangerous challenges to stop Voldemort. In the end, Harry confronted Professor Quirrell, who was possessed by Voldemort. Harry's mother's love protected him from Voldemort, and with Dumbledore's help, Harry stopped him from taking the stone. Voldemort fled, but Harry learned that bravery, love and friendship had helped him succeed. As the school year ended, Gryffindor won the House Cup, and Harry returned to the Dursleys for the summer, knowing he was not just an ordinary boy, but the famous Harry Potter, who had once again thwarted Voldemort. Moral of the story, bravery, love and friendship can overcome even the darkest of times, and our choices define who we are.